Go to Go to Go to Go to You need to stay out tattooing if you can. Hey, what's up, everyone? Forever Lady Studios here. Welcome to another episode of Building Hoth Week 39. And guys, like I've said in previous episodes, we got a lot done this week. Mainly the focus for this week's segment was the trench. It is completely done with the uh, transferring from tan bricks to white bricks as well as adding the uh, grates on top of it. And honestly, it looks 10 times better than previously. Like, I really love how the trench is actually looking. I added some figures into the actual trench to kind of give it a more uh, screen accurate. Kind of give you a representation of what it's going to look like at the end of the uh, series. As well as, I didn't just focus on that, I also got a lot of terrain done. I got a order of 1x2 uh, plates that were like 300 of them. I used them up really fast, uh, but of course, it's terrain, so it is going to go by fast. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I got done this week. And let's get right into today's episode. Okay guys, so starting off today's episode, I'm going to kind of give you an update on the walker situation or the second walker situation is I got all the orders in for the paneling of the second walker and that is right here. It actually filled up the uh, tub actually quite quickly. So now we actually have two chunks of the walker completely done, which I'm quite excited about it. Uh, this week I'll be placing another order for another chunk and, uh, but I did want to point out that this is done this is all the parts for the uh panels for the sides the back the front all that type of stuff that's all right here and that's two things done so i'm quite happy uh so getting done with the second walker talk let's start talking about uh this guy right here so i think something's missing as you can see or you might see as well is that something's missing i don't know what um i know it went right here i think it was gray and it was very large. Yeah, the, you probably guessed it. Yeah, it's the walker. Why is the walker missing? So, I'm going to give you a quick story what happened last Sunday. Uh, basically, I filmed that week's episode on Saturday, filmed it, uploaded it, and re you know, released it on Sunday last week. Well, uh, last Sunday, I also had my friend Braden over. Because we noticed that it had been a while since we actually got to hang out. And originally, we were planning on doing a, a two videos... Sadly, we didn't get to it because we kind of just decided to hang out because it had been a while since we got, actually got to spend time together. Um, but basically, uh, one was he was going to look at Hoth. And sadly, I wish I had got this on camera. I swear if I did, I would have uploaded it in an instant. He came in here, saw Hoth. He was he actually really enjoyed uh, what it, well, he really liked how it looks and how it was looking. And he really liked the walker because... Uh, literally after that week's ep last week's episode, I kind of left it as was, uh, but he was really ecstatic about it. He's like, now this is a walker and he was really impressed with it and he was looking around it. He wanted to see inside. So he took, eh, I took off the panels so he can see. And, uh, I was standing roughly around right here while he was right here. And, uh, basically he, we call it a poke cause he, uh, he went like, er, he accidentally nudged it a little bit. We just call it a poke. And uh, it started leaning this way. Uh, which means that some of the uh, some of the joints in the legs kind of started slipping out of place. Now if you're curious why that is, is that's not technically be, uh, because of the table's fault. Nor uh, the walker's fault or anything like that. My four, you guys don't know this, but it's very, very uneven. And kind of has a little bit of a slant. Um, and so that is a big of a problem. I, uh, I know f for the end of the mock, I'm going to get a piece of a large piece of plywood and actually make it straight. Um, but for the time being, it works fine. Well, uh, it started leaning and usually it's fine, but when you do nudge it, uh, just a bit, it will start to lean. And if I don't fix it in time, it will fall. And so I saw it leaning. And so I came around here and I grabbed on top uh, to the body and started pushing in the pins for the legs and sadly it was too late um after i grabbed it and pushed in this leg right here everything went kaput everything went down everything went crashing down uh leg er, legs went side to side the head split in half um it it just wasn't it just was not a good beginning to uh him coming over um 
And I also had a really bad day that day. But uh, getting on, uh, I do want to point out that I'm not mad at him. I want to say this. It is Lego, so it can, it is meant to be broken and put back together. I don't. I I do want to point that out. I'm not a person who completely freaks out when someone breaks something of mine. It has happened countless times. Even the walker, it's broken. I mean, the walker now has broken three times. So I. It, but uh, what I really wished as I got on camera was his reaction when it happened, because his face was priceless. And uh, he told me he was sorry so many times, and I told him not to worry about it. Uh, so basically, I quickly put it back together and realized that I'm not going to put it back on the feet for the time being, because one, it is a two-person job, and Braden doesn't know how to, well, situate it like uh, James and I have been doing it since he's done it already. So I just decided that I'm just going to keep it off, and... Later in the week, I decided I'm going to keep it off until the end of the mock because of the fact that I don't want it to fall again because I don't want pieces to actually break. Uh, so for the time being, it's actually going to be staying right there. And that's where the final spot is going to be for the walker for the time being. I actually quite like it, you know, right there. Uh, but back over here. So it's going to be off for the mock. I know that might not be the uh, greatest news, uh, but honestly, I'd rather have it off of the mock before I you know, put plywood under it to make it a lot more stable, a lot more flat, uh, then put it on the actual legs. And if it falls over again, have to put it together another time. So I do apologize for that inconvenience on not seeing the walker in place, but honestly, it isn't the biggest deal in my opinion. I'm not, the focus isn't really on the walker at, uh, anymore. Oh, well, the first walker, the second one's over there, but, uh, that's just something that, you know, of course will be added later. That's why I kind of kept the foots, uh, I can't believe I just said foots. Uh, the feet over, over here is kept in place because there's no reason to move them. Plus, it kind of looks pretty cool. Uh, kind of sectioned off. Okay, so moving on from what happened to that walker, time to show you guys what actually was done this week. And as you can see, the trench is now done with the transferring from tan bricks to white bricks, and of course with the grading. And actually, it didn't take that long. Uh, I know. A week or two ago, or maybe th it was three weeks ago, I asked if you guys thought I should switch out the trench. Uh, because of the fact that I had second thoughts on the actual t look of it with uh, tan in it, and kind of bland, and I loved the response you guys gave. A lot of you gave some really awesome ideas, uh, but the most uh, idea that was kind of liked the most was the uh, white with grating on it, and honestly, I really like how it turned out. Um... I try to keep it uneven on some things because, as you can see, some of the gratings are closer than others. Some are farther than others. Uh, there's some of them that are like four studs away. Some are three studs. Some are two. And some are one. Uh, I try to make it a little bit diverse, uh, diverse from each other. Uh, but qu I quite like how it actually looks. Uh, like looking from this area right here, I really like how this trench looks right now. Uh, as well as on this side, as you can see, I added some figures like I mentioned in the beginning. Kind of giving it a... Uh, this is not how it's going to look like when it's completely done because I'm going to kind of uh, load as many figures as I possibly can as well as give it a more action-packed uh, look as well as there won't be these little dots uh, of uh, spots that need to be filled in. Um, so yeah, I really like how this trench looks at the moment. I did leave that side kind of empty minus the two guys right there. Um, other than that, I did leave that empty so you can kind of get... This is what it looks like with figures, and this is what it looks like completely empty. So that was the huge thing that got done this week. Another thing that I kind of did in the process of last night and the night before, and that was the tiling. I do want to point out that I mentioned in last week's episode that I had just enough tiles to finish that off and give a little bit over here. And boy, was I right. So in the process of two nights... Uh, I got that done. Now, sadly, I am out. I am now out of two by two uh, white tiles. I'm completely out. I need to make another order, uh, which kind of stinks because of the fact that I can't actually continue onward. Um, but honestly, how much I had left on hand surprised me how far I got. I knew I was going to be able to finish or fill that in in the uh, behind the trench, but I was not expecting to get as far as that. Uh, you can kind of see where it uh, stops right there. It's kind of a straight liner. Uh, as you can see, uh, that's how far I was able to get with how many tiles I had left. So I do need to make another order. And in that order, I'll order probably another thousand or so. Uh, all I have left is that little corner 
like I said, and then of course this, and then that area right there. So overall, there was a lot of progress as well as uh, filling this uh, with uh, one by one or one by one and one by two uh, plates and tiles, basically filling in all that basically in this general area uh, with that 300 uh, 300 plates that I ordered um, and kind of gave a little bit of chunk but honestly I'm not surprised how much it uh, ran out uh, I tend to run out real quick so that's why I'm kind of buying more tiles than plates because I want to finish off the tiling and then uh, all I have left is you know adding the one by two plates um, yeah as you can see this is what it looks like I do want to point out that I did a uh, fix that little area right there as you can see uh, before that was the spots with the uh, other turret that had the uh, lego uh, lego set turret uh, i ended up deciding that i was just gonna make it completely snow that way it it just it just looked out of place if i put it in a blown up one and i just i like the idea of just having three eh, three turrets on this side and three turrets on this side um so it all ends up working and I quite like the uh, look of it and it kind of gives it a little uh, blank space right there where I can actually have like a snow speeder uh, flying out from there or whatever uh, I decided to put on there. Um, other than that, I that was, again, all the work uh, for this week was gone into the trench in this side. And honestly, I think a lot went done uh, into this week's episode. It, it was just uh, very tiresome because of the fact that I had to peel up all the tan bricks I actually have a decent amount of tan bricks which is all going to be used for filler right there uh basically I had to peel them up and then I had to place them all back down with white and then of course I had to go section by section with the uh gratings also I do want to point out this I also will be adding like these certain things right there let me zoom in just a tad basically right there kind of these little piping things around the trench so kind of gives it a little bit more uh battle look or type of deal so that's another thing i added i don't know i i like how it looks i might add some more so that's pretty much it for this week's episode it's actually quite cool to see uh all of this as uh, to continue onward and then you've just got that blank canvas right there that needs to be tiled over uh yeah i i'm really excited to get this taken care of so i think that's going to be it for today's episode if you enjoy enjoyed definitely hit that like button so i'm going to end off today's episode right now okay so that was today's episode of building hoth i do want to uh, point out in advance that if this episode comes out late, I'm actually recording this later than I usually want to. Work was kind of weird today. Uh, so if this episode tends to come out a little later tomorrow, then I do apologize, but hopefully it can get out just as soon as possible and just as soon as usually it does. Uh, and if it does, great. Uh, but hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Uh, again, I really love how the trenches are looking, especially with the, uh, added grates and the overall white under it and with the figures it, it really looks 10 times better than what it previously looked like uh, i also do want to point out real quick that like i mentioned in the video that that chunk was finished with the uh, panels for the second walker uh, but i didn't mention what the next chunk is going to be that i'll be purchasing this week uh the next week's uh this week i'll be purchasing all four feet for the next walker it shouldn't be too expensive because of the fact that I actually already have a bunch of the parts for the second foot that, uh, or, well, second walker's feet because of the fact that when I was buying the first walker, I accidentally overbought some uh, certain pieces. So now I actually have extra. So I'll be using that, uh, for the second feet, second walker's feet. My apologies. I cannot cut a break. Um, basically that's going to be the second chunk. So it's not going to be too expensive. I'm also going to be, uh, with that order, I'm also going to be buying some other key parts, probably those tiles that I mentioned in the video, probably some plates, as well as I want to start getting some white slopes, the uh, long slopes. I already have a few of them. I want to start getting those as soon as possible because of the fact that when I start that mountain, I'm going to need a ton of them. So that's why I'm going to do the 
uh, four feet next because of the fact so I can actually order a bunch of other things that I need alongside that. So that is the next chunk. I should be purchasing that this Thursday or so. Uh, next week's episode, I'm hoping to get a lot more filler put in as well as uh, hopefully I can get a certain vehicle done. I met, uh, That was meant to be this week's episode, but now it has to be hopefully next week's episode. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, definitely smash that like button. As well as if you're out to this channel, definitely subscribe. we got some awesome episodes coming along. And again, let me know in the comment section what you think of today's episode of Building Hoth. And I'll see you guys in next week's episode.